All right, you guys. Um, so this is Carmen with Elemental Designs, and the reason why you guys are staring at this pot of water is because I've um, pretty much recently discovered a new way to kind of cook up your polymer clay um, molds, and I'll show you guys some molds that I have here. These right there. And um, pretty much what we're going to do now is I'm going to let this water boil and I'm going to start dropping them in. And I have, um, pretty much I'm going to use this right here to kind of uh, start kind of dropping them in. I'm just going to place them on there. And once this water comes to a complete boil, I'm going to drop these in a few at a time. And let these kind of cook up for a few minutes um, and get nice and hard. I've already done this. I've tested this out, which is the reason why I brought this video out for you guys to see. Um, so hopefully, my situation is the following. My oven is pretty much broken. <laughs> so um, I really wanted to do some molds and, and um, create some pieces so that I can use it in some of my upcoming live streams and just other crafts and stuff like that. Um, and I really wanted to figure out a way to kind of um, get my pieces done quickly because as you guys know, I like playing around with porcelain, um, with cold porcelain, but cold porcelain you have to wait a day or day and a half sometimes even two days for it to dry out all the way through um, and with my oven being kind of messed up I was kind of like at a loss so I wasn't really sure what to do um, so now that you guys see that the water is boiling I'm gonna drop these in I'm gonna put all these little flowers in first And as you can see, they're kind of rolling around in there and they're cooking up, if you will. And what I really liked about this method is that, number one, it's very fast, um, so you don't really have to bake them. Number two, um, I get them done quickly, <laughs> so I can make a whole batch, um, start dropping them down for a few minutes, and then start taking them out and um, pretty much start using them right away if I want to. Um, now, I did also try this with cold porcelain, and obviously because of the cornstarch, uh, that didn't work too well, so duh. <laughs> but um, if I do find any other clays that I can apply this technique to, I will definitely let you guys know and keep you guys updated. Um, and I'm going to pause this video now and just finish cooking up the rest of them, and then when I have them all nice and set, then I'll show you guys um, pretty much how hard and sturdy they are. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned. So I did my first batch, I still have um, another batch going, but I wanted to show you guys more or less um, the ones that I've made so far. And as you can see, these are the ones that still have to be cooked, they're still very flexible. Some butterflies that I made, um, but I wanted you guys to see that these are no longer flexible. You can kind of hear, even as you drop them. If I was to drop, let's say, this butterfly here, you wouldn't hear, you know, the clinking sound, um, which pretty much means that these babies are done. And it literally took, from the moment that I dropped them in, um, it took maybe about three minutes, four minutes, give or take. Um, you might want to leave them in a little longer, depending on how big your pieces are. Now, I do want to kind of do a, a quick disclaimer. I did not come up with this idea. I did see this idea on YouTube as I was kind of researching, um, you know, just alternate ways to do this. But since I figured that maybe some people don't know, because I know I mentioned it to my friends and they were like, what, you can do that? So I'm like, okay, so this is not something that is like worldwide news. Um, so <laughs> I figured um, for some of you guys that might want to try... Um, and, and um, you know, play with some polymer clay and you were just kind of worried about having to put them in the oven and just everything else. Um, you can do this method and do it in boiling water. Um, I just want to let you guys know that um, I'm not aware of any fumes or anything like that. So just please make sure that your, you know, that your, your kitchen is very well ventilated. Um, as you guys can hear, I have the exhaust on. Plus I have two huge windows in my kitchen. I have them both open and I'm not staring. 
I'm not standing directly over it, um, you know, as to get any fumes, but I honestly do not smell any fumes, but, you know, there's different brands of polymer clay, different makers, so this might, you know, might not apply to this brand, which I'm not even sure what this brand is, because I got these little packages kind of out of, um, you know, their original packaging. This was a, a gift to me. Um, from New York New York Freestyle Nails and Glitz. So thank you so much, Tanya. I am putting these babies to good use. Um, finally, <laughs> I've been dying to play with them. Um, but I just kind of wanted to let you guys know, uh, you know, the, hey, look, there's another way of doing this. Now, there's also a microwave method, but I'm not so sure about the microwave method. I think that I like this a lot better, um, and it's very quick. And just make sure that you don't do it in a, in a you know, in a pot that you normally... Um, used for cooking and if you do use a pot that you normally use for cooking just make sure that you clean it out very very well you know a couple of times just to make sure that you've gotten out you know any little residue of any kind of you know material that was used um, or ingredient that was used um, to create you know the polymer clay so with that being said um, hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys some really cute projects um, with some of these um, little pieces that I created and I have a whole bunch more that I'm going to be doing I'm going to be having lots of fun right now um, but I do hope that you guys um, like this video, and if you do, and if you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. Um, just remember, you cannot use this with um, cold porcelain. Cold porcelain, you can either air dry it, and I'm pretty sure that you might be able to bake it at very low heat. Um, if you know, if you need to know how to make cold porcelain, I have a recipe on my website on how to. I mean, not on my website, on my channel on how to make that. Um, but there's many recipes out there as far as how to do it. So um, yeah, this is my little piece of useful information for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you guys um, have some fun. <laughs> Bye.